Welcome to iLecture Online, and here's another example of how to work with exponential growth and decay. So let's read our example. It says a bacteria culture is found to have a population of 8,000 after five hours. How many were present originally if the growth constant is k equal to 0 0.25? So remember, the equation that we need to use here is that the quantity, which is a function of time, is equal to the original quantity times e to the positive kt. Positive k means that it's a growing quantity. All right, we were given k, 0 0.25. We're given the time, because after five hours, there's now 8,000. So the question is, how many were there originally? So what they're looking for is q initial is equal to question mark. We're looking for that, and everything else should be given. All right, let's plug in the numbers that we have. So we have q sub t, q after five hours is 8,000. The original quantity is what we're looking for. Then we have e to the growth constant, 0 0.25 times the time, which is five hours. There we go. So we plug in all the values that we know into the equation, and we know we're now looking for this value right here. So how do we do that? Well, we have to isolate it. So we're going to flip the equation around. So we have a q sub naught times e to the 0 0.25, oh, 0 0.25. <clears throat> I'm getting ahead of myself, 0 0.25 times 5 uh, equals, and then we put 8,000 on the other side. There we go. Now, uh, let's multiply this out. So 5 times 0 0.25 is 1.25. So Q sub naught times e to the 1.25 is equal to 8,000. Now we divide both sides by the coefficient of q sub naught, which is the e point 1.25. So we have q sub naught is equal to 8,000 divided by e to the 1.25. And all we have to do is grab our calculator and figure out what that is. So we take um, 8,000 and we divide that by the quantity uh, 1.25 raised to the exponent e equals, and we have q sub naught is equal to 2,292. All right, so what did we just do? We were given a problem where, we're, where a bacteria culture has a population of 8,000 five hours after the experiment started. If the growth constant is 0.25, what was the amount of bacteria we had initially? So we're always going to use this equation right here, which is the exponential growth equation, where Q sub naught is the initial amount that we have, Q as a function of time is how much we have after a certain amount of time. We were given that we had 8,000 after five hours. So we plug in five for T, 8,000 for the final amount, and the growth constant 0.25, and then we algebraically solve for Q sub naught, evaluate, and we have the initial population. So that was a straightforward problem. We have a few more that maybe not be as straightforward, so let's go take a look at the next examples.